Right then, hello again. This, I'm pretty sure, is an old Suzuki engine, boat engine. And unfortunately, uh, we have a few problems with it. There's a shaft and a little three braid pop at the bottom. Now then, I'm going to have to do a strip down on this one because, as you heard of it, there ain't much compression. In fact, it's very easy to turn over, which is never a good sign up with these little engines. Uh, it's only a, I think it's only a two horse or something like that. So our first job is to undo that one, that one, and ah, it's all falling off. And that one there, that one, that one, and that one uh, to get the engine off. And then we'll take the little head off, which is there, just a few bolts, and see why she hasn't got any compression. I always find with these um, engines, if you're going to strip them to uh, strip them properly, um, um, we know the electric work because <laughs> my neighbour has a unique way of starting this old girl up. I don't know if it's going to be worth fixing, but I thought I'd show you. You put uh, a socket in there right, and then try to start it up with an electric drill. So that's how bad the compression is. So there's something drastically wrong in there. So I thought, uh, I'll make this video and uh, you can see it in a pile of bits. Well, this is what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> well, no, it ain't. There's guards that go around this. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know what he's done with them. But we shall see on the, on the back here. Uh, is the little tiny carburetor. Pretty simple. That should turn, but it doesn't. <laughs> There we go. It's just a bit stiff. That's a choke. See that little flap there? Chokes on, chokes off. So it can breathe through its little hole. Look at that tiny little hole there. I can't even get my finger in there, it's that small. <coughs> There's a little um, piston in there going up and down. Sorry, There's a little piston that goes up and down in there. And let's see, so look, that there is a little hand throttle. <laughs> and the bottom plate there turns. Right, that's it turning there. To advance and retard the engine. If you didn't do that, it just wouldn't rev too well. You've got to have advance and retard. Which it adjusts the timing a little bit either way. You know, there it'll be at top dead centre, there it'll be a little bit out and more out and more out, just to allow the engine to rev hard. And that screw there, right, makes it, uh, is an adjuster. Whoops, let me finger on it. That's an adjuster. So you can tighten this up. So if, if this is loose, right? Sorry, let's get the filming right, shall we? If that's loose there, and when it's running, it vibrates down. What you can do is tighten that a little, not too much, until it's a bit stiffer. This one ain't too bad, you know, not too bad at all. But yeah, and it's got a nice little. That is a, a an old, an old um, style petrol tap. We turn this bottom bit there, 
This is quite quite cute. I've been looking forward to fiddling with this. Quite like it. Fiddling with these old boat engines. Yeah, all fun. Uh, quite a simple little thing. But I bet they're hard to get hold of if that goes. But uh, uh, it still works evidently. And it's got a little, which I feel is very important. A little tiny filter in there. I don't think it's up to much, but it's there. Uh, but uh, with these belt engines, you get all sorts of, you can see a little bit there, that little bit of rubbish stuck to it inside the tank. So it's always best to um, um, have a little inline filter. I have one on my 20 horsepower engine, which is over there, that blue one. That's already been on the internet, that one. That's had a rebuild, and it's working well. But... Unfortunately, last week um, I took it out and my fuel pump decided to fail on me. So I've yet found out that there's certain types of fuel pump to fit certain types of engine as well, so that's quite interesting. Um, I thought they were pretty well standard, you know, so the ones I've seen. But now you learn something every day. Still going well though, even though the rings are two piston rings on one piston and there's three on the other it goes like a good one these are the old seagulls i got that i bought and they're gonna need a dressing and this one is addressed nice bit of compression on that one very good goes like a trooper that one you can still buy the spark plugs for these things, but the thing I've got to get is a new um, plug cap because it keeps falling off. It's pain, it pain in the back when you've got to start it with a bit of string. But it starts pretty good. Nice simple carburetor. Little choke. Goes in, off. I like chokes like this. <laughs> They're so reliable. <laughs> no cables to bust, no electrics to go. My mate's got a 40 horsepower, I think it's a Johnson, and the, uh, oh, what they call it, the um, solenoid's gone. And boy, that's going to cost him. I must ask him how much. But anyway, because the actual fuel goes through the solenoid and gets pumped into the um, uh, carburetor. So that should be quite interesting, that one. But there you are. I shall get it into a pile of bits and update you on the video. And uh, you can see what's wrong with the old girl. But we'll find out what makes it tick. <laughs> see you later. Bye.